Hi everybody, Lieutenant Sword here from MyColorScreen.com and this is my Dark Future Slider video tutorial. Uh, we're not going to waste too much time on this, let's get going. Uh, I am using the Apex Launcher and we're going to go to our Apex settings. As you can see on the home screen, 10 by 7 grid, no margins. We are going to come to our minimum scrolling time, set to 10. Transition effect is going to be none. Show wallpaper, and we're going to use multiple screen scrolling for our setup there. When we come out of there, we're going to go to our drawer settings. And uh, I like to the ver vertical continuous drawer. You can use whatever you like. Our dock settings, we're going to come to the bottom and we're going to check hide dock that's going to get rid of our dock uh, also up in uh, up in our uh, home screen settings we're going to uncheck show indicator right here that's going to get rid of the indicator and we're going to check the hide notification bar setting so that is it for our apex settings we come out here to our uh, our desktop here now there are two ways to do this I'm going to use the multi-picture live wallpaper and this is how we do it wallpapers we are going to go to our live wallpapers our multi picture and I already have this set up but here's how to do it settings we're going to set our individual settings we're going to create two screens on our screen one we're going to select our picture source hopefully you've downloaded and installed everything from the file that I provided in the description already on your phone if you haven't Pause now and continue later. We'll begin again in five seconds. Great. So, uh, assuming everything's installed, we're going to select single picture. We're going to go to where you have your pictures saved. And the higher of the two, which is this guy right here, we're going to select him for page one. We're going to go to crop resize and fit to full screen. Go back. Come to page two. Again, picture source, single picture. Go to our pictures and select the higher of the two now. And we're going to set that to full screen as well. Come back, back, and set our wallpaper. Now our wallpaper is set, and you can see the transition is working beautifully. Uh, right now, our app drawer icon is visible we're not going to worry too much about that right now what we're going to do is we're going to set our transition buttons so we're going to long press go to our apex actions we're on page one we're going to set it to go to page two to flip to page two long press again and i already have one there it seems so we're going to long press apex actions and set for screen one if you want, if it doesn't line up perfectly like this one hasn't, set another one right above it. That way you're going to get it no matter where you press around that button. So we got those in place. Let's set our UCCW clock. Again, assuming that you've already downloaded and put the UZIP file that I provided in your UCCW folder, when you open UCCW 2x2, you're going to find it right here, Dark Future Clock 2x2. Two two. We're going to touch here, and then we're going to resize it to the left, one mark, and that should fit perfectly. We're going to do the same thing on page 2. Go to our widgets, our UCCW 2x2, two two. Dark Future Clock 2x2, two two. touch, long press, resize and set that's it that's the only uccw function that we have on the entire screen so going back to page one what we're going to do is we're going to bring out our three most commonly used elements you can use whatever you like these are the three that i've chosen phone we're going to set right in the middle messaging we're going to set to the left and gmail we're going to set to the right of that 
We're going to flip over to page two. We're going to do the exact same thing in the exact same place. Phone, right in the middle. Messaging to the left. And Gmail to the right. And you can see when you transition, they'll stay right there in the same place. Page one, we can finish up now. First thing we'll do is we'll change our icons here. I'm going to edit. Edit our picture. And these will be the icons that I've provided for you. Same thing with our phone. And with our messaging. And done. Now we're going to take our app drawer, edit, and we're going to use our transparent icon. If you don't have one, get one. If you don't know where to get one, ask me and I'll provide you with one. I'm going to edit our drawer transition button, and we're going to use transparent icon on that one as well. You can see page one is now done. I'm going to flip over to page two. We'll go ahead and get rid of these. And these pair here. And there, those are gone. Again, we're going to change our buttons here Our phone and finally messaging and there you have it oh Looks like I use my tra uh, my uh, transparent. Let's change that back. Force a habit to use that transparent icon. So there we go. Now we have to set our second row. Uh, I've provided a series of buttons, a series of uh, icons. If you like them, go ahead and use them. If not, you can use whatever you like. Uh, this is just my own personal preference. And, uh, you know, certainly nobody's locked into that. I like to use my Z player and my calendar. On the other side, I like to use my camera and... I'll usually go with uh, either a system setting or uh, sometimes a flashlight or news service. In this case, I guess I can just go with uh, with some kind of news or, or whatever. Ah, I'll go with Play Store. I haven't created a Play Store icon, but... I'll just know that that's what it is. So here, we're going to do, we're going to edit these icons the same as the others. Again, if you don't like the icons, feel free to get the uh, PSD file and change them up to however you like them. And once we do this, we're pretty much done. Again, on the, when we get to this Play Store, I don't have a Play Store icon created, so uh, I'll just use whatever I have handy here, and I'll know for myself that that's the Play Store. 
and I'll go ahead and use this uh, RSS icon here. And there we go. That's it. We're done. Lock your desktop. Enjoy your transitions. And we'll see you next time.